Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we're taking a look at a pretty cool brand, actually the sister brand of Ponce watches, which I have reviewed once on this channel before. And they mainly specialize in bronze and brass watches, and this watch right here, in this nice wooden box which it comes in, is the Fonderia Naval, and this is their Condor, which uh, will be released in about two weeks for, uh, you can buy one. Now, if you order one early, I believe you save $50 from the $500 uh, or $499.99 price point. So it comes in this nice box, as you can see here. And inside is your watch. As you can see, we have a pilot-style watch, one of their first pilot watches. And let me get that out of the box. A little pamphlet in there with some information. And that's pretty much uh, the packaging. It does come with a dust bag also around this. So here is the watch we are taking a look at today. Obviously, very inspired by... You know, pilot watches of the past and present, as you can see by this dial layout, which is very uh, traditional and very modern as well. So we do have a 44 millimeter diameter in terms of size, as you can see here, uh, which might seem big for some people, but it has a 51 millimeter lug to lug with. So it's uh, you know, wears bigger, obviously, than something like a 40, 41 or 42, but really wears more like a 43, I would say. We have a 24 millimeter lug width screw down crown. We get 200 meters of water resistance, uh, which is pretty unusual for a watch like this. So I think that's very nice that they did that. So basically this allows you to take this thing swimming. Obviously you must take it off this oiled uh, leather brown strap, but you can definitely take this thing uh, in the ocean, in the pool, uh, in the summer, uh, wherever you want to. So definitely a very versatile piece. Obviously it can be dressed up and dressed down depending on what strap you put on it. Definitely something suitable for all occasions. And uh, that's what I think they were going for here, as you can see. Now, this is the brown dial Condor version. There are a few other variations, as well as a nice blue dial. And getting a little closer to the dial, let's start out. So we have applied numerals going around, cathedral-style hands. Printed in white below 12 is the logo. And then Condor printed above 6. Now, I do like that the second hand reaches all the way to this railroad track which is very traditional also. And everything is much sharper and cleaner. And they even told me that uh, the quality on this watch is much better than any of their other watches. And they definitely have stepped up the quality. And I definitely do feel it in this watch compared to the other Ponce watch I did review. Now the crown is a large onion style crown, which is very typical on this style of watch. It's screwed down, very easy to grip. As you can see here, it's very well machined. Everything looks pretty spot on. It is made of bronze as well. The whole case is CUSN8 German bronze in a brushed finish. So that's where you get that more expensive price point. If it was stainless steel, it would definitely be a bit cheaper. But as you can see, nice cuts on the lugs here. Basically a three-piece case with the smooth or brushed bezel, uh, stainless steel case back, and then your case here. But uh, the brushing is pretty fine there. There's no issues or sharp edges that I could find. Now the crystal itself is a single domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating and there really is no glare and as you can see even when the light hits it there's really no glare uh, due to that nice brown dial there which really pops in the light if you can see that. Now heading over to the case back, the case back is obviously in stainless steel as you don't want the bronze touching your hand or your wrist I should say, the top of your wrist and it, it, it does have a really nice uh, engraving here of an eagle as you can see, if I get you a little bit closer here, you can really see the detail and the fine work that they did here. Everything is really spot on. If you can see that, I think it looks pretty good. 200 meters bronze condor. And your special edition number here, as you can see, 23 of 50. They are only making 150 of these watches, and there are different variations. I believe there are three color variations. You can check the link down in the description below for all that information. Now, ticking away inside the Condor is the Seiko NH35 automatic movement. Most of you are pretty familiar with this movement. It's a pretty robust and accurate one. Uh, 24 joules, of course, we get hacking, we get hand winding, and accuracy is within 5 or 10 seconds plus a day, usually with these movements. This one about 7.5, which is pretty good and definitely acceptable with these movements. Now, the crown itself, to actually use this watch, very easy to unscrew, very solid pop out. Obviously the first position is self-winding. And the second position, we do get a ghost date, which some people might not like, uh, but you can't really notice it there. And then the final position is your hacking position. We can set the time here. And yeah, everything's smooth, very easy to read, very legible dial, which I do like a lot. You know, you can just look down at your wrist and you know what time it is. Large applied numerals. And the numerals that are applied are filled with C3 Superluminova as well as the hands, and it glows very bright. Uh, there's a good coating on here. 
And then some nice accents for the red triangle over here, which is pointed, as well as the fine markings over here near the railroad track 0 through 60. And everything, everything looks pretty spot on. You know, there's no mistakes. Um, everything is very sharp. The brushing is very good. And hey, I think it uh, came out pretty nice. Now, in terms of case thickness, it obviously looks like a chunky watch due to that bronze brush finish, but it's really not that big at 11.3 millimeters. So definitely very wearable. Uh, no issues there, 24 mil lugs, 11.3 by 44 by 51 millimeters here. So yeah, um, it's definitely very wearable. It's a pretty bold look on the wrist, and it's definitely going to get noticed when you wear something like this. Now the strap itself is a genuine leather oil strap, so it's basically broken in and super soft and supple already with some stitching going down. And I do like the strap. Now the two keepers here, one stationary and one floating, we do have a nice bronze buckle. Um, which is very bold, I would say, and uh, comes out a bit further than the actual strap. Uh, it's definitely very nice, though, but this will patina as well as the case over time, as most of you guys know with bronze watches. So right now, this thing is perfectly mint, brand new, but over time, this watch will develop a nice patina, and it will look different. So each watch that you own in bronze is definitely going to be one of your own, as no other watch is going to look like it the way it patinas. Every watch will patina uh, quite differently. Now, I really want to get you a loom shot. The loom on this one is really good. I was quite surprised. So let me get the torch and let's see what it's about. So just give me about 10 seconds here. I'm going to loom it up. And let's see what it's all about. And as you can see, no surprise there. This thing glows extremely bright. And uh, it's not even pitch black in here. As you can see, super strong on the cathedral hands, as well as the tip arrow point seconds hand and all of the numerals. And it does not seem to be fading like at all. So, you know, really, uh, really good loom. Now there she is on my 6.5 inch wrist. As you can see, there is the buckle, which is really bold. And that nice kind of triangle top there. As you can see, though, it's very soft and supple. This is not even broken in, and it's basically broken in already. So it definitely looks uh, pretty nice on the wrist here, as you can see. Uh, there's a side profile. As you can see, about just about fits across, about one millimeter over on my 6.5. Uh, five inch wrist there. You do see that domed sapphire crystal uh, which is very legible even at a side angle profile view. And that's how she looks from top on when you're looking at your wrist. Uh, definitely a nice look, very legible, very easy to read. Uh, I think it's a very nice looking watch. Obviously, uh, you know, very reminiscent of some other watches in the pilot territory, but definitely a case uh, design of its own and strap design and all that good stuff. But uh, a pretty cool looking watch. I'm definitely impressed with this one and the quality. So there you have it, guys. That is the new Fonderia Naval, the Condor, which is a sister brand of Ponce. Just uh, really nice guys that make these watches. I believe they're from Peru. And uh, I spoke to them a little bit. They're definitely, uh, you know, really inspired to make watches for everybody. And they really do like bronze and brass watches a lot. And it's definitely a true passion of theirs as they like watches as well. So it's not just a money grab. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this watch down in the comment section below as usual. It's definitely a pretty cool watch in my book. And I will see you guys in the next video. You can read the full written review on watchchannel.com on this exact watch right here, as well as a ton of other watch reviews. You can definitely find me on Instagram at Watch Addict Channel. And definitely subscribe to that channel. Hit that button right now down in the bottom right corner. I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for tuning in. I will see you soon. Bye.